Hello, flight simulator enthusiasts. Here is an update on my overhead project. I think this is number two. I'm just gonna show you uh, the wiring and what I've done. So, like I showed in the previous video, I have the uh, Leo Bodner card over here. I have a uh, Pokies card here, it's a USB. I figured this one's USB, end up buying a, 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 a all USB, so I have three total. Um, one's not hooked up yet, I'm going to use that probably for the um, battery display up here. Uh, so we have a Leo Bodner card here, Pokies card here, USB, and another Pokies card here. Got everything wired up except for the last one. I have a few switches here and then this row here that I'm doing. Uh, so here's progress. Basically run the wire in through here. I'm using Cat5 wiring. Um, it's very easy to work with. It's uh, stiff and I can control where the wires go. Um, Um, so that like this wire here, I'm going to hook it up to this switch here, the emergency lights. There's a on, armed, and off. So it's going to take two inputs. So what I'll do, strip the wire. Just take this and bend this, just like that. Another one here, bend that. Bring this down, hook it onto one of the hooks on the switch. Grab my soldering gun, some solder. And right in here, it's going to be tricky trying not to burn or touch the sides. I gotta, I'm gonna get a new tip too. The tip on here is getting pretty bad. You probably can't see my arms in the way, but I'll show you a close up. So we got the first one switch hooked up, or the first input on the top. And put my soldering gun in the holster. And what I wanna do is bring. Like this area is really kind of hard to work in. So I have a needle nose pliers that I can kind of work in there. Connect it into that, the hole on that switch. Like that. Grab the soldering gun again. And grab some solder. And it doesn't take much, much solder at all. You want to get the uh, contact nice and hot, and the wire hot first, and then just touch the uh, solder. It's very quick. Um, so I have two more switches here. We'll turn it around and it's going to be my no smoking off auto on and fasten seat belts off auto and on. So each one of these is going to take two inputs. So I got my wire right here. Strip a little bit of the tip off. Like that. And we gotta figure out how we're gonna wire this in. So we have, I don't know, there's some holes in here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know how well the video is, but I'm gonna use this hole and 
then just come up this way, I guess. Beat it up. Uh, we can go under the wire here, under all this mess, possibly. I'm just getting caught on that other hole back there. You know, and maybe this isn't the best way to do it, so we can you know, try a different way. This doesn't work. So there it is, pop up. And with these Pokies cards, um, unlike the Leo Bodner card, these you can just push down. These are really easy to work with. I like this. Here you can you have to unscrew and then screw them in, which is uh, all right, I guess. It works. Open up those two ports, or two screws in the ports. I don't know how well this is video camera set up, but memory card went full. I uh, got full on the uh, camera, so. Um, ran the wire here, stick the two wires in there and uh, tighten the screws up. And there's some slack here, we can pull this, pull this down a little bit. And measure, so how far do we need to go over? And I like to leave a little bit of room to play with so I can uh, Move the wires around. You have to remember too, I'm going to put some LEDs in here too. So we need to make room for LEDs in the wire and um, two fidget cards. So what I'm doing now is just untwisting the wire. I don't want to go, I guess, too much. I forgot we got to use two inputs for each switch. So I'll bring these back, twist them around. And I made it long enough to reach this switch in here. The next run, I will uh, make it not as long to keep it kind of nice and not too much slack in the wire. Strip the wire. Take the tip of the strippers and just bend it around and make a nice little loop like so and again just hook these wires right up to the switch I like to hook up one get one in there and solder that one then come back in on the second one because you can't get both of them hooked. What I find is you can't get both of them hooked um, at the same time. One's you know, bends is stiff. What you want to do is just get that switch terminal and that wire nice and hot and just touch a little bit. It's very quick. Don't use too much solder. It doesn't take long for it to cool. And then we come in with our second one. Again, this one's a tight area working in between these two. It's more difficult to get in there. So I'm going to use my needle nose again. Like that. That right on there like that. Grab soldering gun, solder. And 
and so on. So, not to keep the video running, I'll probably run out of uh, room again. But again, I'll just speed the wire up, strip my terminal a little bit, speed it up. We'll do that one. So I have how many more left? Do I have. I got two here. Um, this one only needs one input on a, each switch, or put this. These here are pu a push button or attend and the call. Um, and then these rotaries, I don't know how many we need for each one of these. So these are wipers. One, two, three, four. Four, so we'll need eight. So I just got done wiring up these, the two, these two switches and then these two uh, push buttons. And let's go ahead and try them out in ProSim. So the first thing we're going to do, the two switches that we did were the uh, cooling, the equipment cooling supply exhaust right here. So what I'm going to do, just two switches, do the first one and we're going to do um, alternate. So equipment cooling. So we come into here and look for equipment cooling. Right here, equipment cooling, there's two of them. And we flip that first one to alternate. So let's do that. We got port 23. Let's do the second one, flip it, alternate. And we're on number 24 up here. Let's go to alternate number two, click that. We got a 24. So we're good on that one. Now the emergency exits, we have off, armed, and on. So let's switch that on to on. Emergency exit, so let's look for E. Emergency exits on. And we're at port 25. Port 25, I'm gonna switch it back to off. Emergency exits to off, and we're on number 26. Click that, port 26, good to go. No smoking, off, auto on, switch that to on. No smoking on. Let's see if it's under ends here. No smoking. JJKL, uh, no smoking. What did we say? It was on on. Port 30. And let's switch them to off. We don't need to program the auto or automatic to detect. Go to off, port 29, we're good on that. Seat belts, there's an off auto on. Let's turn that to on. Seat belts, so I'm guessing it's S. Q-R-S, seat belts. Seat belts on, here we go, on. Auto and off. And what did we say that we switched it to, to on? So on port 27. That was already seat belts to off. Um, so what happened here? Something that's not wired right. Oh, there we go. 28. So. I didn't switch that right. So let's go back to fasten belts on, and that's port 28. Port 28, we've got that, and I'm gonna switch it. Fasten belts off, you guys probably don't wanna watch this. Okay, 27. And attendant call, we got, let's push that. That's port 31, go up to A's so on, etc. Auto. Auto attendant off, not pushed. That's 31, and I'm just gonna quickly push, um, what is it, that ground call? That's port 32. Is that under G? D, B, C, E, F, G. Round call pushed off. There 
we go. Hit OK. And now we can come into the panel and we can test this stuff out. So I'm going to do the equipment supply. There we go. Oh, I got those reversed. There was no label, one or two, so I'll just go in there and reverse those. Emergency lights, on, armed, and off. Oh, something's, something's not right there. I'll fix that. No smoking, on, auto, off. Seat belts, off, auto, on. Looks like that works. All right, so next video, I'll have everything hopefully wired up maybe tomorrow, next few days. Um, busy tonight, actually busy tomorrow too. So maybe the weekend, I'll get these, these hooked up and the rotaries. I think this is gonna be really hard to um, get in there with a soldering gun. But anyways, thanks for watching.